Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson we're going to continue building this page and we're going to add in these text, um, this, this messages here. So before we start, the reason I'm putting these messages here, I just want to cover that just really quickly, is that when somebody first looks at this dashboard, now bear in mind when we went through the requirements this dashboard is going to be on a phone or on uh, mainly on a phone for an executive or on a big screen so that everyone can see it. Now, what I'm really keen to do here is just get some really high level messages about the the current state of the, the, the equipment risk. So the things I'm going to add in here, the three messages are going to be the number of work orders at the current risk status. So this is red. So we've got two high risk work orders here. Now, if it wasn't red and it was on the next risk status, then we know there wouldn't be any red, red work order. So we'd list a number at the next status down, which would be orange. And we're going to put a bit of colour code in here just to draw the eye to this um, to, to this sentence. The next one is how many of these defects are scheduled for repair in the next seven days? That would be a question I'd like most likely asking. OK, we've got two of these high risk defects here. How many of those are scheduled to be executed and be repaired um, in the next seven days and if it's none then I'll, if it, unless it's all of them in fact I want this to be read here and then finally how many of these repairs are currently in backlog so backlog is a concept where basically when you first generate a work order you give it a risk ranking it adds on a, a, a predetermined number of days and this is a, a window of opportunity for you to go and carry out the effective repair. Not everything's going to be done straight away, and that's the amount of time you can live with the risk. Now, once it goes past that time, then it's in backlog, and we want to know how many of these work orders in the current risks, this, the current um, risk um, status, how many of these are in our backlog. So we can see here, this is what's been produced for red. We've got two high risk work orders. So we can clearly see, we can see here as well, but this explicitly tells you there's two high risk defects at the site. The, now there could be 10, there could be 20. It's, it's just the number that's in here. So that's quite important. The next, we don't want any, the target is none. So the next is none of these defects are scheduled in the next seven days. So that's why there's a big red cross here. None of these are scheduled for the next seven days. So that's going to be something that you want to know and something you could potentially go and start to chase up and maybe there's some materials or we need a plant outage or there's some sort of bottleneck or constraint that needs to be put in place. But nonetheless, these risks exist and none of them are scheduled to be um, reduced or taken away in the next seven days. So that's why it's got a red cross beside it. The next one is none of these repairs are currently in our backlog. So that's good. So I've put, I've put a little tick there. It might be I just leave it blank. We'll, we'll, we'll see, but I'll give you the option and show you how you could put a tick or a cross here. Um, sometimes it's good to release just to see an affirmative. Yep, that's fine. Other times we, we can just leave it as a, as a statement. Um, so none of these are overdue, which is good. So that is what we're going to focus on building in the next part of this course. I'll talk to you in the next lesson.